it go like Don't break me for so fucking done with you, girl So fucking done with all the games Hello there all of you possum people, it's me Growing Pen here And welcome back to our Wiz 101 Myth Walkthrough Now if you guys don't remember last time We officially started Marley Bone And now we're in Chelsea Court We gotta go to the Cloud Tower And get no entry <laughs> Eyes peer through a hole in the door, and a voice issues from inside. Password? No password, no entry. <laughs> no password, no entry! <laughs> okay, oh, I think I saw the Hyde Park cat. Yeah. Right there. Unsavory friends owes me a favor. His world insists on a show of power, so I must leave that to you. Find William Pugsby by Chelsea Tower. Tell him I sent you, and he'll help you with the password. All right, you may be a wizard, but I don't talk to just anyone. But if Ms. Marfley sent you, I'll hear you out. You want to get into the tower, do ya? Shake so leery changes the blasted password whenever he pleases. Sure, I associate with O'Leary's, but I'm as decent as they come. That Shakes is a right loon. Defeat Shakes at his hideout at the street, and he won't change the password out from under you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> To sh Shake's Clock Tower, yes. Okay, uh, give me a sec. Okay. Sorry about that. Got that taken care of. <laughs> Wanna play rough? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. Oh. Rosa. Oh god, this guy's a myth boss. It's fine. Got a got a Cadillac convertible. <laughs> got a storm convertible. Where was I? Oh yeah. Okay. Don't need a bunch of these, Jesus Christ. Can my phone shut up for once, please? Be cookie. No. Okay. 
This is probably gonna overkill. I don't know. that guy right there. Gonna heal myself. Um, all right. this guy first. Okay, come on. <laughs> We're just fizzling each other, really. <laughs> okay, come on, for real. Oh, this guy's just- What?! He's like, oh my god, what the fuck? Onyx. I don't need that though. Okay. Can I get out of this tower, please? Okay, thank you. Shake's gone, no one can change the password. Bad luck he didn't have it on him. Shakes would have sent out the last password to the big muckers. That's not me, I'm decent. I wager Timmy Icepick has the password. Let's just say you don't want him to reach the clock tower before you. Defeat Timmy Icepick at the opposite end of the neighborhood. He'll have your password. Okay, hold on. 
Game check. Alright, we're good. Okay, yep. Ice Mix Warehouse. Oh god. Uh, let me get like a few lemon berries first. That I need that. Okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna get pulled in there for a second. My phone shut the heck up. Okay, 17, I get it. surprised if you find yourself a little chilly after this battle. Okay, we got... I'll change words. I'll, I'll put in sandstorm just cuz. <laughs> Are you serious? That's how you want to play it, huh? That's that's how you want to play it? care of this guy.
Okay, whatever. I still have a second one. We split on ice by such a little wizard. Don't tell anyone, okay? You find a piece of paper with today's date and a password. Thanks for that. They must be on to us. Right, you've got the password. Afraid it's gotten too dangerous for me. We can't all be wizards. I pay my debts, I do. Tell Ms. Martley I did what you asked. Best of luck, wizard. See. Alright. Let me get the sinking lemon berries. time than now to rescue your man. Use the password and enter the clock tower. Take care. Eyes peer through a hole in the door, and a voice issues from inside. Password? Once you give the password, the door creaks open. Okay. supposed to be here. I'll have to drop kick you into next week. If you drop kick me into next week, I'll be a week older. <laughs> we wouldn't want that now, would we? Pretty much drop kick me into next into the next five thousand weeks, I'll probably be fifty years old and dead. <laughs>
Uh, book pedestal first because I might forget theories of Marleybone it is believed that when the world was larger than it is now the Marleybone that we know of today was once connected to other lands other worlds such as Wizard City Crocotopia and Grizzleheim are thought to have once been a part of the same huge land that was once joined together it is thought that a galactic catastrophe caused the land to split apart. Primitives believe that the world was part of a great tree that broke apart after a great war. Like the Titans, Dragons, and the... No, the Giants, Tritons, and Dragons. But most scholars yeah. today believe this to be rubbish. Most scientists believe the ancient land was struck by a large bone flying through space. <laughs> struck by a large bone. <laughs> okay. Hold up. No. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the stupidest theory ever. I thought I'd seen my last day. I can't thank you properly, so I won't. At least not now. I hear Mr. Bones will pay for my information. Yo, Vanilla Ice, is that you? The O'Leary's have a big plan. You'll see. But they got designs on me as well. I should be going. Give my thanks to anyone who helped find me. You would. A pleasure working with you, young wizard. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's impressed. Speaking of Mr. Bones, you best run off to see him at Digmore Station, where he's coordinating with the police. Tell him I said hello. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that's really gonna be me when. What the heck happened? Oh. That's really gonna be me when I'm. When, uh, 17 uh, comes somewhere near and, uh, and one of my friends is like able to go there and, like, hey, can you tell Drew and I said hello, please? <laughs> oh my god. My thanks. I spoke with Baxter a moment ago. I could not have done better myself. What? Miss Murphy said hello? Sherlock adjusts his collar. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Your daring escapades have led me to conclude we must meet away from prying eyes. Baxter will meet us at my home at 221 Barker Street in Regent Square. We'll have these O'Leary's yet. <laughs> he adjusts his collar and he's like, he's like blushing and he's trying to hide his face. <laughs> it's just... present we can now get at the truth that magnifying glass isn't gonna scare me anymore <laughs> that was fair play what you did is thanks i was knocking about a bit by the ironworks minding my own business mind you and i see pops o'leary his men see me and what do they do 
Come after me. Me, minding my own business. Been running ever since. Well, that takes the biscuit. I tell you, Pops is up to no good at the ironworks. Take a look there. You'll see what's what. Excellent work. Meet me back at Digmore Station for our next step. Now let's get down to business. You alone have the power to uncover the O'Leary plot. You must enter the ironworks and discover their intention. Find Baxter at the ironworks. His inside knowledge may prove valuable. Okay, so next episode we'll head into the ironworks. But uh, right now, uh, this episode is going to be left right here. So in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you guys did enjoy this episode, why not be a awesome person by high found the like button. I promise to have someone next time, maybe. And I will see all of you awesome people in the next video.